Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for signing in. Uh, today I'm not going to stay longer than uh, 9 uh, 10 o'clock because I know there's always um, uh, a show by a presidential candidate, Amaya Le uh at 10 o'clock. I don't know if they're going to do one today, but just in case they're going to do one, and I'm, going, I'm not going to stay long. Today we had a rally, uh, not a major, one of those mini rallies that we have around the city of Enugu. We did this at the Timber Shade. <laughs> I went there to do, um, I went there to do play cards. <laughs> you know, I asked them to make play cards placards for me and they gave me a bill and the bill to make the placards um, it's not that that I couldn't afford it but you know we're trying to be prudent and we're trying to be creative in the way we spend money because that's what we're all about we're about being very prudent being very wise being very creative so that we can save money in whatever we do I'm going to use that money to do something else. And so a friend of mine, uh, 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 a relative of mine who is into the printing business, he told me what to do. And he advised me to go to Timber Shed and get uh, plywood and cut it into pieces and then make, um, make my own, <laughs> make my own, uh, billboard right placard sorry placard not billboard make my own placard so i'm going to show you this when it's all done so i'm making my own placard so i went out to the timber shade to make this placard and then i asked the boys to meet me down there and they got the balls and they met me down at the timber shade so i'm going to take this i'm going to put glue on this side and on this side and we're going to paste uh, the posters. I'm going to show you the posters. So when it's all done, we're going to take this poster and we're going to put it here. And this is something that I can also teach some of our governorship candidates. So we're going to put this poster like that. See, when I put it like this, I'm going to put another one behind, just like that. So. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick this poster one like this. You see how perfect it looks, and one on this side. And you know what? This is stronger than the styrofoam uh, placards that you just do and throw away. This one is gonna last forever. You see? So we're using the bowman sense here. <laughs> so now when we finish doing this, it's made out of wood instead of styrofoam and this one will last if this poster gets old i just put glue and paste another brand new poster so every time we come out it's going to look very very beautiful and then and after that i'll show you some other thing that we'll do give me one second so we also got wood like this and uh, we cut it into pieces and I made them slice the middle of it so so they slice the middle of it and what I will do is when it's all done we're gonna put this wood in the middle like that aha uh -huh. see and then we're gonna use nail to nail it and there we go we're gonna have a placard just like that it costs about 20% what it would have cost me if I um, if I made the placards uh, if I made the original plat <coughs> the ones that they make but then it's made out of styrofoam and that is not gonna last so but this one made out of ha um, plywood made out of real wood handle uh, stuck with glue is gonna last for a very long time so that's one of the things that we did today <clears throat> we saved out ourselves 80% of how much it would have cost us we're gonna make 20 of them so 
if you're a candidate out there and you're watching that's just a free tip for you how you can make cheap placards that will last and last and last these ones don't spoil they don't um, you can use them over and over again if the poster gets dirty and ripped off you just put glue and put another poster on it <laughs> you know and you can keep on having brand new posters because the other styrofoam one whenever they do it they spoil it and we have to spend money again to make other placards so there you go <clears throat> but today it was very interesting but one thing that is very worrisome something that really really worries me very very worrisome is out there in the field today everywhere we went to people were begging for money they would just go and watch that video I'm hoping that um, we'll paste um, we'll paste the link to that video or you can go and watch the last video before this one and you see where people were begging for money they just they just literally beg you for money they give me money just give us money that's what everybody kept saying just give us money it, it's it's so annoying and I kept telling them why do you keep saying give us money why do you keep saying give us money why don't you guys just vote for good governance and when you ask them do you think the right person the right leader is in 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 government right now they will always tell you no they don't think so they will always tell you that um they don't think the right person is in leadership right now uh chidera thank you for coming on but when you ask them to make the necessary change with their pvc card they just keep telling you that no 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 just give us money one of them told me will you give me money i said hell no i'm not gonna give you any money i don't have money to share around he says okay then you're you're not going you have failed then i asked him so if i just give you one thousand or two thousand now that's it so if the wrong guy comes and gives you one thousand or two thousand de deal you go and vote for them he said yes of course I'm like that is very sad honestly and I know people will hate me for saying this if this election goes the wrong way and Nigerians still voting the same wicked people that have kept the country the way it is I don't want anybody who has ever begged me for money from Nigeria to just throw my number away if you have ever ask somebody living in the diaspora for a dime and i'm not saying that everybody in nigeria is poor but i know i know very well and this is the truth that a lot of people living outside the country have had to you know invest so much in their people back home now if you guys and i'm talking about we nigerians fail to vote the right people into power and you vote back the same wicked set of people that have messed this country up then don't you ever don't you ever ask somebody who lives outside the country for money because i don't get it people from outside the country can look at you and tell you i'm telling you it is not pride it is not insult but nigeria is like hell living in nigeria is like hell nigeria has spoiled it is rotten you, you guys don't get it and i don't care if you think oh because you live that abroad no you guys are living in a situation where you just accept everything i, I can't imagine the the conditions that you're living in and somebody is even begging you to vote out the people that are leading you now and you even have people supporting buhari are you like out of your mind just because of money or because of politics i don't care if you want to belong to apc but please be in APC, but don't vote Buhari in. I'm, I, I'm begging you, if you are in APC and you still vote Buhari, see, you can be in PDP, you can be in APC, you don't have to be in AAC. Honestly, you don't have to be a member of AAC, but vote with your conscience. And if you are a member of APC and you still vote Buhari in, you don't have conscience, period. I'm telling you, and if you did it because of money, may God judge you. Uh -uh, you somebody who is senile, and I'm not, we, we are not trying to, to, to disrespect the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I respect the office of the per, per, president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But this guy has lost his senses. This guy is almost senile. He, 
he, he, he is suffering from, from amnesia, a terrible case of amnesia. It is not by mistake that he is forgetting the names of people, forgetting which state he is in, forgetting that he is the presidential candidate of an election, forgetting, don't you understand, For, taking few steps and falling. His wife, it is not fake news, his wife has come to tell you that, listen, it is not my husband that is still in control. You people take back your country. Where are the men of this country? And yet, you will be in APC and you are pushing the man on and you are willing to vote for the man. Eh, you must be wicked though, I'm telling you. And then for you, who lives in a place where there is no light? Who lives in a place where there is no water? Who lives in a place where you can barely get along? Everybody, well-dressed person, somebody in suit, a lady that is beautifully dressed and looking elegant, still looks at you and says, find me money, I beg, find me money. That was unheard of before. Ten years ago, people don't talk like that. Now, people just, they don't want to listen to your ideology. They don't want to listen to your manifesto. They just tell you to give them money. We are begging now, we are begging. It used to be something, that, see, I don't even know. There are people beg. They just beg you, they just ask you for money. I told you, people were running after us the other day with their PVC card. Say, oh God, just give me 1,000, take the card, I don't care, just take it. It is that bad. I'm telling you, it is so sad and bad. People tell me that just give us money. If you give us money, forget about every other thing. They even tell me, oh, don't you know that they, one of my, one of my, one of my uh, elderly aunties, very elderly lady, should be in her, should be close to her uh, 70 something years. But because, um, it, 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 um, because of you know the, 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 the strong active life they live in the village, she really looks active. She called me outside and said, My son, let's you know this is what you need to do. You know these people came and they gave us some things. They gave us some things so that they, they brought something and they shared it amongst us. And me, I got to and I said, Mama, what did they give you? Sir, ah, me, I got I got three indomie. They give me three indomie. And I'm going to vote for them. Three Indomie, I felt like crying. Three sachets of Indomie, this my grand auntie is about to vote for the person that gave her three pieces of Indomie. See, it is wickedness on the side of the person who has convinced my grand auntie that for three pieces of Indomie, she is going to vote for him may god not forgive you for doing that because you know exactly what you're doing that is the utmost height of wickedness that you will go to an old man in the village and you just share three pieces of indomie and that's all she's going to get for you for the next four years while you go and share three million naira for yourself you give her three pieces of indomie and you're going to take three million go ahead, continue you think there's no god Continue. I am. I, 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 I'm not fed up, but it's it, it's very very astonishing what we're seeing on the campaign trail. The kind of people we're seeing it from, what we're hearing on the campaign trail, and the kind of people we're hearing it from. It is very pathetic. I'm telling you, people who are educated, people who are reasonable, people who are responsible will look you in the face and ask you to give them money and say, don't you want to hear my manifesto? Don't you want to hear what plans I have for Enugu State? Do you even know what plans the next person has for Enugu State? They don't care. I'm telling you, I, I've said it. I, I'm say, I, I, God knows I'm not bragging. I have a comfortable life. I know a lot of my friends who have comfort, comfortable lives living abroad and they have invested so much in what is happening in our country with a lot of other reasonable people living in this country and you find that the people 
who are not being reasonable and listening to you are the ones who are suffering the most out of the terrible condition in our country so you are already suffering you already don't have a future why are you not interested in something that will give you a future what kind of person are you how how can you not be interested in somebody who is making an effort to bring in a good government to you that is terrible honestly i'm telling you the most you can do is even just keep quiet and follow your conscience and vote that day but for you to come and challenge me based on the fact that i didn't give you money and you even know that the other guy who came and shared money to you is the guy is the last guy who is the reason why you don't have light in your village you know very well that the last guy who just shared money to you yesterday was the reason why people are dying in your hospitals i've sang this like a song over and over and over and over again i'm telling you we better get it right you better vote the right people because if you bring back these people that is it and you will see you will oh my god you think we're suffering in nigeria now hmm. get ready because the people that are suffering don't even think they are suffering anymore it, it is so bad people don't realize that they are suffering just go and watch the video every single if, if we turn around you if you if you understand Igbo, you will hear what they are saying i was like what is happening when did we degenerate that much everybody says give me money give me money it is terrible very 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 terrible and then let me tell you another one when i went into the market to to get all this material at, at the beginning i showed these materials that we'll be using to make our placards the guy who i bought this from he almost doubled the money the price of the thing the person who cut this the, the, this wood for me he didn't ask me i was thinking how much is it how much is it he said, don't worry don't worry the, the price will not be a problem by the time he finished he he charged me almost three times i needed to buy glue i, I, I asked the carpenter near there how much is the glue please i want to buy that kind of the carpenter said oh they sent it over there is 1300 and I told uh, 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 the guy who drives us, I said, Chibike, please, can you just go and help me buy the glue over there? The guy said, no, 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 the guy who had already tried to cheat me over the plywood ran off with the, with the driver and said, okay, let me, let me follow you. And he ran off. He didn't want the, the driver to walk uh, as fast as his walk, uh, at, as fast as he could. But he didn't know I had already told the driver how much the glue was. He ran ahead of him, brought the glue back to him, and said, Okay, yeah, I've got it, it's 2,000. I said, 2,000 naira. So the driver said, Okay, don't worry, don't worry, because now he understands the kind of person I, I, I am. So he said, Forget about it, they came back to me. I said, Where's the glue? My driver said, uh, uh, I hate to call him my driver. So uh, Chibike said, No, 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 Aga, it, it's, it's, um, I just said, Don't worry, don't worry, because now he understands me. He didn't want to cause a scene, so he just said, don't worry, Oga doesn't want it. When we drove to the place where he said it was 2,000, we got it for 1,300. See, there's something we call aprico. Aprico is when you top a little money on top of how much the thing was sold for making an effort to go and find the thing for the for the customer you know like you ran and you you now nah, we, we call it also fear like you went around for your effort in bringing the thing you add a little money in it that's it's an acceptable business uh, uh, uh <laughs> principle amongst ebos especially but when you are going to add almost 100 percent on top of that price that is wickedness now and the the, the 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 boldness for you to do it inside the same environment where that thing is being sold you are not even afraid that the person might still go and find out 
that same thing that you did find out that it's, it, it's a lie so everybody is trying to cheat you every single person is trying to cheat you I, i'm telling you the percentage of people who are willing to really really deal with you as per cheating you in nigeria now has increased tremendously you have to be very very careful there are good people very good people very very honest people people of integrity but i'm telling you they are shrinking every day the hard condition has made people compromise so much i'm telling you the hard the, the terrible situation of the country has made a lot of people they don't care anymore they don't credibility is nothing they throw it out of the window everybody just wants to swindle you everybody wants to dupe you so you gotta be very careful anyways we need a lot of finances we need a lot of support um i still keep asking you to donate money to our gofundme donate money to our bank account uh donate money um to our bank account overseas however you can help us donate materials to us we would accept flyers it's amazing how many flyers just keep <laughs> we, we, we print our 16,000 naira worth of flyers and in a day it's all gone so please if you can help us with flyers i can send you the number of our printer and you can pay him directly to to get us flyers we need flyers please we need um, people are listening people are responding but we need we, we we have to spend more time with them convincing them that you you really thought we, we needed to do we need to sit down we need to preach to them we need to show them these flyers so many and thank you so much for a lot of you um, uh, who have uh, given us money uh, uh, we can't identify many of you because you chose to be anonymous yes 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 so please um, uh, I have uh, when I look at the, 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 the numbers I don't know how let me try and pin this up so people can uh, I'm going to pin this comment that way you guys can um, if you if you read through that the pin up you can see how you can donate to us to our efforts here so please go and um, go and um, go and look at read read through what i just pinned look read through it and see where you can donate to our campaign please thank you so much for all of you who donated sometimes when you donate i don't i just see ab abbreviations or short form and i don't i don't get to know who donated but please we appreciate you from from the bottom of our heart it doesn't matter some of you donate ten dollars uh five dollars twenty dollars we 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 appreciate it one thousand naira twenty thousand it costs so much money uh every outing that we go by the time you <laughs> you try to buy refreshments for for the guys that go out with us and then uh, do all the little, little logistics everything you see there is money 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 the posters the flyers lots of money um it, but it's well we we've got into it and we're doing well and god is helping us and uh, we'll continue to appreciate all of you so please keep donating uh elizabeth are your daily oh wow let me see let me see okay elizabeth are your daily uh fifty dollars to go fund me thank you so much elizabeth ayodele thank you for the fifty dollars donation uh, in our gofundme account please um don't stop giving don't get tired um we down here we have every cost to be tired we have every cost to get frustrated or get intimidated but we are not i think there's another it's another donation. Adetu Ade Bukunola Salimonu donated hundred dollars to our GoFundMe account. 
Thank you so much. Adebo Kunola Salimonu. Thank you so much for the hundred dollars donation. Uh, we will put it into into making more flyers. Uh, every money we have now, we're just going to channel it into making more and more flyers. We've run out of t-shirts. That's why in our video today, you didn't see people wearing t-shirts. Uh, it doesn't look very nice. Uh, we wish we could make more t-shirts. If we had t-shirts, we would have won them. But I, did, I don't even have a t-shirt. This is actually what I wore today. So um, we really need your help. We need your support so we can make more t-shirts. The t-shirts cost uh, t-shirts and cap. I, I got a bill this night. I mean, in the afternoon, a bill of about, um, I think it's 4,000 plus to make the t-shirt and cap, which was a good price. So if we make 100 of those, that would be about 4,000 4, by uh, 100 will give you, uh, I think that's 400,000. Yeah, 400,000. So we need 400,000 naira to make 100 t-shirts and cap 400,000 um, that's about a thousand dollars plus so if somebody just gives us a thousand dollars right now <laughs> our bill for postcard will be paid you know it sounds so 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 funny and almost embarrassing to hear myself talking like this talking like I'm uh, um, <laughs> like all these people who raise money online but you know what that's what uh, embarking on this journey has done to us there is this Deoba Deoba um, let me read let me read this hold on one second I'm trying to read something it says Deoba I'm okay. Ude Chidera Okay, four hundred thousand. Okay, thank you for doing the calculation. Thank you. Deoba Amoke Shola who donated five thousand to Stambik IBTC. Thank you so much, Deoba Amoke Sholapo. Wow, that's interesting. Um Chidera, you just confused me now. I thought you were donating four hundred thousand. Chidera take take time oh. <laughs> when you are writing something, explain. I was going to jump up now, so she did her 400k. I didn't know you were doing the math for me. <laughs> but thank you so much. Chidera, Chidera has been so resourceful. Chidera um, has been helping us to mobilize people. Um, he's the secretary of the AAC Enugu chapter. And he is also the president of Ozala uh, Youth. And um, he's a very, very resourceful person. Chidera, thank you so much for the role you play in our campaign and in the in the African Action Congress in Enugu. I'm going to stop now. I don't know what time it is. Hold on. Okay, it's nine minutes more before we we hook on to um, Shore 2019 so we can uh, watch uh, presidential candidate Omoyele Shore on the couch. He always does that at 10 o'clock. So I'm hoping he will be there to to do his uh, couch thing. Chidera, I wish you would tell people what is our experience on the on the campaign trail. But let's let people go, and then um, uh, maybe tomorrow or next. We will have an opportunity to sit and uh, you can tell them your experiences okay thank you so much everyone for tuning in thank you for your support thank you for everything you do we appreciate you and on behalf of um, um, the Chile for governor campaign team here in Enugu thank you uh, everyone on behalf of uh, my wife Erica, who has been doing all the all the media thing out there in worship media, we want to appreciate all of you and we love you. Keep praying for us. It's not easy here. Things are very tough. Sometimes it gets scary. It gets discouraging. 
but we're not giving up because somebody has to do what we're doing and we know that we are doing what God has called us to do um, for our generation at this time. He is uh, the source of our hope. He is our protection. He is our security. He is the, the thing that gives us the courage to do what we're doing. From uh, Enugu State, this is Chidi signing out. Bye-bye.